Breaking news uh, coming in this evening. The special investigation team set up to probe the Sunanda Pushkar death case reportedly questioned the uh, former Union Minister Shashi Tharoor's domestic help. He was uh, reportedly questioned for five hours today. The SIT is now briefing top uh, Delhi police officials at the police headquarters. Tharoor uh, in his letter earlier had mentioned Narayan Singh as the one who was reportedly intimidated uh, by the investigating officer and asked to confess to murder. This is a story that was first broken by headlines today. More breaking news coming from the national capital. An unidentified bag was uh, found in Pahargan's area of Delhi. The entire area has been cordoned off uh, the bomb squad and uh, the Delhi police is uh, at the spot examining the bag. Pahargan's area is a busy market uh, area of uh, Delhi located uh, near the railway station. We're being told that an unidentified bag has been recovered from the area. The bomb squad is examining contents of the bag. And uh, this is something that, it's, uh, that is likely to raise uh, an alert in the national capital. Remember, there's been tight security in all metros, especially in the national capital ahead of US President Barack Obama's uh, scheduled visit on the 26th of January. The breaking news that we're getting this evening is that an unidentified bag has been found in the busy Pahargand area of the national capital. The bomb squad has reportedly reached the spot along with the officials of the Delhi police. The entire market area has been cordoned off. It's about uh, 7 in the evening. There'll be heavy traffic in that area. This uh, Paharganj market is located right opposite uh, the railway station and we'll have uh, several people there. And back to the other big story we were tracking. A special investigation team has reportedly questioned Shashi Tharu's domestic help in connection with Sunanda Pushka's death case. Shashi Tharoor's domestic help was reportedly questioned for almost five hours today. The SIT is now briefing top Delhi police officials at the police headquarters. Shashi Tharoor in his letter had mentioned Narayan Singh as the one being intimidated by the investigating officer who was reportedly asking him to confess to the crime. Headlines today was the first to break this story. Let's get now word from our correspondent Ankit Tyagi, who's uh, with us uh, on the phone line. Ankit, the important developments here, even as the Delhi Police Commissioner clarified that uh, no notice had been sent to the former union minister asking to present himself for joint investigations as far as Sunanda Pushkar's uh, death case is concerned. The fact that uh, his domestic help uh, was questioned today is important. Absolutely. In fact, uh, Delhi Police, uh, right from the time this uh, on January 1st when they have registered the case uh, under Section 302 uh, for murder, in fact, uh, as far as Suranda Pushkar's case is concerned, they have been gradually uh, going on and, uh, uh, and uh, putting their pieces together. In fact, the police commissioner today, uh, uh, although he said that no notice has been sent to Shashi Tharoor, but uh, uh, did not uh, also mention that uh, the police is now making a list of the people, those who would, of course, uh, be questioned. They are re-looking at all the evidences that they had uh, uh, gathered at the time when uh, at the, the local police had uh, gathered at the time when they had gone to the scene. Uh, five hours, what we have been told was uh, this uh, uh, servant uh, question. His name is uh, uh, Narayan Singh. In fact, uh, if you remember interestingly, um, Narayan Singh is the same person who Shashi Tharoor had attributed in a letter uh, written to the police commissioner in November last year saying that uh, he was under pressure, the police was putting him under pressure to confess that uh, uh, that, he, uh, that to confess the murder of Suranda Pushkar and also frame Shashi Tharoor. Uh, although the police commissioner uh, denied, uh, he said that we had uh, looked into this matter, but we did not find any truth in the claims that Mr. Shashi Tharoor had in fact uh, uh, made. Uh, now what we have also learned is that uh, a letter was sent uh, to Narayan Singh who was uh, in Himachal Pradesh. Uh, uh, he's a resident of Himachal Pradesh. He was at his house. Uh, he, in fact, came to Delhi last night and from and today in the morning, he was questioned for about five hours at an undisclosed location in South Delhi uh, by the SIT that has been formed to probe Surinda Pushka's death. 
Right, and Ankit, uh, considering that Shashi Tharoor had written a letter to the Delhi Police Commissioner last December saying that uh, the investigating officer is intimidating his domestic help, he's also, also reportedly physically assaulted him, will the SIT also be questioning that officer? Well, uh, uh, the uh, police commissioner has given a clean sheet uh, to his men. He has said that we had, in fact, uh, uh, gone ahead and uh, we had investigated uh, uh, all the people concerned uh, and uh, and also, uh, you know, gone to, uh, into to look at uh, what Shashi Tharoor, uh, in fact, uh, uh, the allegations Shashi Tharoor had made. He has said that... Uh, no truth was found in the allegations that Mr. Tharoor had made. He was probably misinformed. That is what the commissioner has said. So they are not going to call in the police officers now, but uh, we are expecting a series of people. In fact, the Delhi police is now also looking into the people, those who were uh, uh, staying in that uh, seven-star hotel in Delhi on the night when Sunanda Pushkar uh, was uh, found uh, dead in one of their uh, hotel suite. Uh, they, will, they are going through the, the list of uh, the guests of that hotel. Uh, the police might also call few of the guests and the, the staff of the hotel along with the personal staff of Shashi Tharoor, his uh, secretary who was with him at the time when uh, Sunanda Pushkar uh, was found dead and other staff uh, or, uh, uh, who was working in the Delhi house of Shashi Tharoor very soon. So we might uh, see uh, a series of uh, such high profile uh, you know, uh, questionings before the police actually calls in or goes to question Shashi Tharoor. Right, and Ankit, we already heard uh, from the police commissioner, he said that uh, all evidence will be re-examined uh, by the SIT, who is also expected to send the Visera samples uh, to laboratories abroad. Absolutely, the police commissioner in fact made it very clear that uh, after the, uh, registering the case under section 302, it is easy for them to send the Visera report uh, to uh, a laboratory abroad. They will very soon be doing that. They want to, in fact, uh, uh, try and zero down on the kind of poison that, uh, in fact, resulted in death of Sudanda Pushkar. Uh, for that, they will be sending the samples very soon. Apart from that, the police is also uh, re-examining all the reports, the autopsy report, along with the physical evidence uh, and the uh, DNA evidence that was found at, uh, uh, the, uh, at the place where uh, uh, Sudanda Pushkar was found. Uh, he also, in fact, uh, quashed the, the theory that... Uh, the, the, the scene of crime was dressed up. He said, let the SIT do their job. We have just started, the SIT has just started uh, this investigation. And once uh, uh, we are able to, uh, uh, we, we come to some conclusion, as of now, they are only trying to uh, make a broad outline of how they want to go and where they want to go and who all they want to question. And very soon, uh, they, they, he said that we would be able to come to the bottom of this case.